Now, brothers and sisters, here goes Paul. He sees the last days. God gives him a prophetic pictorial of what's taking place in the last days. Paul says it's perilous times because it seems like when individuals look to the left and when they look to the right, they're going to see all these sinful activity that's taking place. Are we seeing that today? But brothers and sisters, before you say yes, I want you to consider this. We say yes because what most of us are thinking is, oh yeah, man, when I go out there in the streets of New York and I see all the crime and the wickedness and all the lewd activity, when I see all these things, oh yes, I can see Paul is telling the truth. But brothers and sisters, that wasn't Paul's focus. The world has consistently been wicked and evil. That doesn't make the last days perilous times because it's never a perilous time when you have a dark place that has a lighthouse. As long as there is a lighthouse that can shine light and reach people where they are and bring them out of darkness into Christ's marvelous light, we don't have to necessarily say that it is perilous times. But brothers and sisters, what if the lighthouse themselves begin to practice the sins that are taking place in the world? You see, brothers and sisters, notice what it says in verse 5. In verse 5, Paul was not talking to the world because what's the very first sentence in verse 5? It says, having a form of godliness. Brothers and sisters, the world does not have a form of godliness. I got news for you today. The world does not have a form of godliness. The world is wicked, and they make it plain. You can look at their billboards. They're not ashamed. You can look at their books. They're not ashamed. You can listen to the words in their music. They're not ashamed. But brothers and sisters, it's perilous times. When the church begins to behold the world so much that by beholding, we became changed. And instead of the church converting the world, now the world is converting the church. When something like that happens, now, brothers and sisters, it's perilous times. This is what Paul was trying to bring out to you and I. He was letting us know that, unfortunately, the very light that many of us were supposed to allow the lovely image of Jesus to shine through us, many of us have dimmed the light. And as a result of this, notice what the Bible says next. You see, God was saying to us, perilous times shall come. All of these sins shall take place. Then he goes on and he says, having a form of godliness, denying the power thereof. Look at the very last words and tell me if our young people today are not being obedient. It says, from such do what? Turn away. And our young people today are turning away. They're seeing the hypocrisy. They're seeing a high profession on a pulpit that they do not see lived in the daily life. And they're tired of it. And as a result of that, many of them are turning away. And all we're trying to do is save the young people is we try to take a whole bunch of worldly stuff, bring it into the church of God, and try to bring them in. And that's like bringing in the mixed multitude. And the last time I checked, when you study the mixed multitude, they were always a bunch of troublemakers. Yeah. 